Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to start a new series. Uh, the name of the new series will be Meta Update of Call of Dragons which means um, I will be talking regarding heroes and legions which are very popular and which are meta which means a lot of people are using it in uh, during wars, during roots of war and, or any kind of situation. So let's begin. At first, let's speak regarding infantry legions and infantry heroes. Still, uh, in the season two plus, uh, meta uh, infantry hero uh, legion uh, is Madeline and Nika. That still did not change. But uh, with the introduction of Skolgul and Goresh, I have seen a lot more uh, Goresh and Skolgul than Garwood, which means. Madeline and Nika still is preferable infantry legion uh, for uh, yourself, but uh, you can always go to Goresh and Skolgul, Skolgul uh, new meta for infantry he heroes. I think uh, Goresh and Skolgul will be much more popular uh, like in the end of the season, and I, I think it will replace Madeline and Nika, but uh, until now, uh, I am seeing less and less Garwood and Elianas, but I can see a lot more Madeline and Nika and Goresh and Skolgul, which is pretty interesting because uh, both hero pairs are mainly uh, centered regarding dealing damage. They are not most tanky uh, legions, but they are specialized to be infantry as a semi DPS uh, legions. Uh, actually, they are doing an amazing amount of uh, damage, especially uh, Madeline and uh, Nika with the counter-attack damage, and uh, Goresh and Skolgul in general with skill damage, with physical keen. Uh, even people are using Goresh and Madeline, that can be amazing pair too. So, like meta infantry heroes currently are Madeline, Nika, uh, Goresh and Skolgul. Uh, Garwood and Eliana are mainly for merit farming or behemoth um, simply because you are uh, standing still and not dying for a long time. So yeah, that's the main idea regarding infantry. Uh, let's move on and let's speak regarding cavalry units which I think are most weak uh, uh, unit type in the game. Like only use of cavalry units uh, or in general, cavalry uh, heroes are, in my opinion, to destroy forts simply because you are moving faster in the map because of mobility of cavalry heroes, uh, gather some stones, but in general, in war situations, whenever you are having a big war and you see a cavalry units, you want to attack them because they are easy to kill, and also, like, their mobility they, it does nothing, like, either you are going inside the war or you are running away, away right? If the color unit is running away, let it be, and if he's coming to you, he will die faster until he will do anything, like... In general, I think cavalry units are most weak uh, attribute units in the whole game. I think something needs to be changed simply because uh, we have two, uh, three ranged units like flying range mages, uh, marksmen and mages in general and cavalry units are uh, lacking the uh, mobility or anything in general. Like uh, either they should be dealing more damage or they should be more tanky. There is some kind of problem in my opinion regarding them and I think it will be uh, addressed in the future of the game. Uh, they are weak cavalry heroes but still we need to speak uh, which are the most meta heroes for cavalry units. Uh, again, Emrys and Bakshi, Bakshi and Emrys, doesn't really matter, uh, like the primary and secondary, they are still popular, but the new hero, Forondil, uh, are getting some popularity, at first people are using Forondil with Thea as a 100% flying uh, unit, but uh, Emrys and Forondil, uh, and sometimes some people are even using uh, Forondil and Theodore, it's not that popular, it's it's really hard to know what's meta in cavalry heroes because 
people are generally not using them at all. That's the whole point, right? So still, Emrys and uh, Bakshi, uh, and uh, you can add Forondil as a good hero pair for either Emrys or either Bakshi, in my opinion. I'm not so sure regarding Theodore and the garrison skill, like, Theodore needs some time for us to understand what kind of hero he is. So yeah, the weakest um, unit type in the game, cavalry units, does not have anything surprising, anything fun. Emery, Spakshi and Forondil. That's the three heroes which are uh, kinda good for cavalry heroes and you can play with any of them in any legions like uh, Emery's uh, and Forondil, Bakshi and Forondil, Forondil and Bakshi, Forondil and Emery's. Doesn't really matter, they are... Uh, fine but in general cavalry heroes and cavalry units are really bad let's move on to the marksman section uh, marksman is one of my favorite uh, unit types in the game uh, i really really like uh, in general kinara and her design that's the only hero i'm trying to awaken as a legendary uh, simply because as a free-to-play player it's really hard to awaken a couple of legendary heroes you need to start by one right so marksman units in season two plus um, like at first it was nico and kinara or it, ha it has been always uh, a good hero pair uh, and meta hero pair uh, but uh, it recognizes that nico and kinara is more skill damage factor heroes with defense break that's their speciality if you like your marksman to deal skill damage you are playing nico and kinara but the marksman heroes which are very popular in season 2 plus are uh, Sindrion and Freigar, amazing hero pair, you are specialized in auto attacks, like as much as you are auto attacking the enemy, you are dealing more damage, uh, like great great uh, hero pair, like meta hero pair for season 2 plus marksman units. Uh, if you have Freigar, try to get Sindrion. Sindrion should be a primary hero, Freigar as a secondary, simply because Sindrion has a better talents. So yeah, like uh, Marksman has two playstyles, uh, Sindrion and Freigar auto attack playstyle, and Nico and Kinara uh, skill damage factor playstyle. Both of them uh, are amaz amazing, but if we are speaking about meta heroes, then in season 2 plus, Sindrion and Freigar are meta marksman heroes. Uh, let's move on to the one of the most interesting, in my opinion, major heroes and mage legions. As we already know, Waldir and Welin is uh, have been and is meta for free-to-play players especially and even for pay-to-win players. Also, we can uh, have some fun in mage section and speak a lot. Uh, for example, Lilia and Welin is also an amazing uh, pair, one of the most popular heroes in whole game. Like, if, if whenever you are watching war or participating in war, you see a lot more Lilias than any other heroes, uh, 100%. So if you are paying in this game, uh, then Lilia and Welin is one of the most meta heroes, uh, hero pairs in the game. But something new uh, is seen in this season 2 plus. Some people are using a lot more Alwyn, uh, like Alwyn with Welin, Welin with Alwyn, sometimes even Lilia with Alwyn, Walder with Alwyn. Uh, simply because Alwyn is giving you poison damage and debuffs to uh, people around many legions. So whenever they there is a war and a lot of legions are standing still, standing together. You are applying a debuff to all of them. It's a ticking damage and in the end you are dealing huge amount of DPS. So, like, uh, before it was two legion types, Walder, Welin, uh, Welin, uh, Lilia, uh, or Lilia, Welin. Now Alwyn is added uh, to the party. Um, Alwyn is a meta hero currently. I have I have been seeing a lot more Alwins in the season two class than any other seasons before. So keep it in mind if you like Alwyn as a hero in general, debuffer and poison damage dealer, a great hero. You can have a lot of fun with it, and especially during wars whenever there is a lot of legions around the battlefield. That's when you can get the most out of Alwyn. So yeah, that's like a mage section. A new addition is Alwyn to the meta heroes. And let's briefly speak about flying heroes. 
Still, and the game, uh, Fia is one of the most popular heroes in general in the game. Still meta hero, uh, but uh, the addition of Forondil gave he Ti a new dimension, sort of. Now we can play Thea with uh, Aetheus, and that's one of the greatest hero pairs, simply because if you are playing League of Orders and you have special unit Celestials, this is way to play, you will enjoy it a lot. So new addition to Thea is Forondil, uh, which is pretty interesting as a flying cavalry heroes, like not a lot of people are using it, but you can try it. It's not meta. Meta means that it is, it is strong and a lot of people are using it. A uh, lot of people are not using uh, Thea and Forondil. Thea is a lot more popular with uh, Atheist and Thea is a lot more popular even with uh, Craig as a marksman flying heroes. So yeah, like only thing I can speak regarding flying heroes is Thea. Uh, Thea is meta for a flying heroes or in general in any hero types. So uh, this is what I will do in general whenever like next season will come or meta will change and something interesting I will discover during battlefields. Uh, so far I will want to know your opinion. Do you like this kind of content? Content to speak what's uh, good right now, what what are people playing, and uh, sort of understanding the current situation of the game. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I will continue doing what I have been done already for 8 months and I'm playing this game 100% free to play. As you can see, I don't even have Lilia. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I see you soon. Bye bye.